Hi everybody, um, my name is Shane. I'm a customer success manager here at Brella. And today I want to give you a brief introduction to the sponsor admin panel and go through some of the, the basic fundamentals uh, to make sure that you're set up and you can begin the build uh, as efficiently as possible. So to begin, the event organizer will effectively sign you to a specific booth. And when this occurs, you should receive an email from uh, noreply at brella.io and it will look something like so. We will essentially let you know that you have been invited as a partner to X uh, event, um, and then you'll be able to access the specific boot here as well. So just one thing to note, the accessing this boot is not accessing the event proper. It's basically an admin portal dedicated for you to build the boot itself. Uh, you'll receive an additional URL from the event organizer later on down the line when the event officially launches. Um, so once you proceed through Access Boot, you sign up via your work email, you will land on a page called sponsor.brella.io. And here you will effectively have a preview of the boots that you have been assigned to. Usually you'll probably see one here. Um, but what you can do from here is you can click in and there's a couple of different items that you'll see in this place. So the first page is a dedicated overview. So this is reviewing your performance when it comes to meeting acceptance rate, time spent in the boot, boot visits, uh, any active visitors, any meeting request activity. And then you will have your virtual boot. So this is basically where all the uh, manual work or tasks uh, are involved. What you can do in this space effectively is you can update your company name, you can add a subtitle and um, you can customize all your details from industry, your socials, add your description, and also, of course, um, update the carousel as well. So the carousel is effectively the preview of the event. So as you can see here in this Brella preview, we have a YouTube video, we have uh, some sales documents, uh, we have some websites, we have an image, uh, images and so on and so forth. Um, so that can also be in, embedded and it can also be previewed from here. Each of these info bubbles, it connects a specific article so you can see uh, what exactly needs to be included. And you are also able to see the specifications for imagery as you proceed throughout this as well. Let's take one of the uh, examples here at the carousel deck. So let's say this YouTube video. What, how you'll embed a YouTube video uh, is essentially by utilizing an embed link. And this is the same for all of these other uh, spaces. You will require an embed, uh, an embed link uh, to input it on, onto the browser's end. So when you're going to YouTube, for example, what you would like to do is you can go to share and then you will go to this embed space and uh, you will effectively take this URL here, which has slash embed um, embed, uh, included in the URL itself. Once that's done, then you'll be able to add it here. So for example, you can add the type of slide if it's an embed web page, video or stream tile, and then you can include the URL here essentially. Um, but any questions or any concerns, you can either check the articles here. And we also have a live support available on the top right hand corner where you can chat with one of the representatives at Brella. We offer US, uh, European, and uh, support in Asia as well. Moving on then briefly, we also have this representatives tab. One thing to know about the representatives uh, who will be attending the events on your team's behalf is that they will be able to be assigned to the boot in two specific ways. The first way is automatic assignment. So this is, let's say, for example, I work for Brella. When I sign up to the event proper, I'll say that I my company is Brella and I'll be automatically assigned to the booth. And the second option is manually uh, via the event organizer. So if you see that maybe one of your sponsors or partners has not been assigned to the booth, it'll be worth uh, either reaching out to the event organizer who will then be able to uh, manually upload or assign that sponsor to that specific booth. But otherwise, you'll be able to have a preview of all the representatives. You'll be able to see the meetings that they've accepted um, from inbound, outbound if meetings have been canceled. So this is some good data that you can take on. And it's also similar on the engagement space. So you'll actually get some data on 
who met who, for example. So which of your sponsors or partners met which attendee or which investor. And all of that is exportable as a CSV as well. So some really nice data there to review the performance of the representatives from their actions when it comes to accepting meetings, but then also previewing who they have accepted as well. There's also a prospects tab. So for onsite events, we have a tool for lead scanning. Uh, one thing to know is that once the, you have scanned the lead and maybe you have taken some notes, these are some of the main criteria that you'll receive. Uh, from this scanning. So name, email, prospect company, title, scanning time, who scanned, so uh, the representative, notes, and then actions taken. This is also exportable as a CSV file as well. So you can have some post-event data. Lastly, then we have traffic analytics. So this is uh, for those uh, sponsors or partners who have uh, this included as part of their overall package. Uh, and this is effectively a place where you can see how many uh, minutes, how many hours people have spent within the virtual boot, uh, how many times they've viewed, and also what specifically they have viewed within the boot itself. So this is a good reason that you should put some uh, detail into this space. It's quite comprehensive. Um, and it also allows you to get some rich data after the event as well. So to give a brief summary, in this space, you're able to build the boot from scratch. You're able to preview it before you actually sign up to the event. Same with the sidebar integrations. You can preview those before the event. Um, if you need any kind of help with this space, we, let, we have links to help articles, and we also have chat support. Um, but overall, it allows you as a, as a team to curate the space and to also preview your analytics as well. Um, if any questions come up, feel free to contact the event organizer uh, or feel free to contact our chat support team and we'd be more than happy to help. Um, but overall, best of luck with the build and uh, look forward to seeing uh, the boots that you create in the future.